Hi Aries, this is Nayla Latrice. I am here to do a next 72 hours for you guys. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit the share button and subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a video. I am available for personal readings. Also, if you guys want to donate to the channel or if you guys want to follow me on social media, all of that information can be found down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. Okay, so the overall energy we have right now is the emperor. So Aries, this is right on point. This is your own energy. This is a beautiful deck. I want to um, go ahead and say this deck is uh, the Afro Goddess and it's by Andrea Furtick. I have the the oracle deck as well so go out and support her okay um however aries you guys are bossing up you guys are stepping into your power i'm hearing leadership um so you guys are climbing up the corporate ladder possibly or you guys are starting your own entrepreneur business i see somebody hustling it's like somebody getting up putting on their clothes um it's, it's like they have on jeans they have on a red shirt um and they're like putting their watch and all of this stuff on and uh, they're they're getting ready. It's a male energy. It's a male energy that I'm picking up on. OK, that you have on um, jeans and you're you're it's kind of like you're you're shrugging your shoulders back and forth. And it's like you 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 hyping yourself up, to, you know, telling yourself, you know, you are the man that type of energy. OK, so I feel like there's some situation that you guys just recently went through and the indicative here by the pre shuffle of this 10 shuffle of this ten of swords it came out as I was pre-shuffling um, you guys are definitely ending something and whatever this is that you guys have ended or are ending in the process of you guys are feeling those emotions yes it did hurt you it was frustrating it was painful for you guys but you guys uh, learned a lot of lessons okay I'm here in Sagittarius also something about moon energy okay so you oh it could be a Sagittarius moon there we go um, we also do have a full moon that is coming up so this is the perfect time to continue to release what is not serving you all right and then we also have this three of wands you guys are moving forward you guys are dusting off your shoulders and trying again and saying you know what I got this whatever it was that came at you that was trying to attack you look at this this five of swords energy, whatever came at you trying to attack you, you guys was like, oh, uh, uh, we don't do that over here. And you slayed them and it hurt your feelings. It hurt you to do this. I'm hearing least expected. It was from could have been from somebody least expected. I'm hearing parents. So for some of you guys, this could be your own parents, unfortunately, but sometimes it'd be a family. They're human, too. And as you begin to understand what your um, what your purpose is and what you are here for, Aries, being in this powerful seer energy, I'm really picking up on heavy male energy right now. OK, I know it could be many um, women, many queens and goddesses that watch this. Um, however, this is some very this is a very dominant male um, um, energy. So you guys could also be dealing with another Aries or with the male Aries as well. OK, are you guys? are really just in your power and as I say that we have this star card you guys are the star and you guys know this that's why you guys are moving forward look up oh, you guys just had to bring peace to some type of battle spirit what messages Ooh, what messages do you have for Aries look y'all got love coming in could have been a lover that you had to cut off spirit what messages do you have for Aries what messages do you have for Aries Take this one. Oh, come on. Do y'all do do mm, do see this? You see this? You see this? Do you see how spirit works? Y'all moving towards, uh, y'all moving forward towards love. I'm hearing karmic. Yeah, you guys have cut off a karmic lover. You guys are getting over a karmic lover or karmic relationships. You're focusing on your work at this time. You, you guys are definitely in your Aries energy, in your power energy. This is that leadership. Attention to detail is what I'm hearing. So pay attention to the details, especially when it comes to your money and your connections and your relationships. But you guys are moving on. Um, 
to a divine counterpart. This is a divine counterpart. This is what you've asked for. This is what you've been waiting on. And spirit is so happy and proud to bring this connection together up here. You see that? Ooh. I'm going to fall out. Okay. I didn't even get to ask. Look at this. You've had clarity of, uh, in regards to this situation. Some of you guys, it was a divorce. This reminds me of like um, a garter that a woman wears on her wedding day. And I feel like you, this is a divorce that you guys cut off or cut through. Falling under this ten of swords. You guys have had clarity in regards to this situation. I'm hearing enlightened. You guys have been being enlightened on your journey. You guys are moving as well. Could be moving to a completely different city. And this is spiritual guidance. You guys have been, been, been being guided by spirit. You guys have this offer coming in with this uh, son of cups. This is a page of cups. This is this lover that's thinking about you. Could be a Gemini. Look, they're coming in with this page of wands. Could be a Pisces as well. Is what I'm picking up on. Some of you guys also may have a koi pond. Let's see what else comes out. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? What messages do you have for Aries? You guys are now pure. You guys are in this very, very pure energy, energy of receiving. You guys are goddesses, uh, Wiccans, things of that nature. Princess, however you want to define yourself. Okay, I'm going to take this one and then this one. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see you guys wearing something like this over your head as well. This is what's making me feel that goddess energy. You're coming into true awareness of who you are as a goddess. With this three of swords energy, this person that this lover that you guys cut off, they were they were dealing with somebody else. They were dealing with somebody else. Mm hmm. Could be work as well. We did see that eight of pentacles. But this person, they did have somebody on the side is what I'm hearing. Mm, look at this. You see that snake up there? They were lying, cheating. Oh, I'm hearing they were stealing money. Some of you guys, they were taking you guys for your money. They were only in the connection because of your material wealth or because of your status or your position. But look, you cut all of that out. You said, uh-uh. You said game, recognize game. And as much as this is hurting me, I got to I got to make the decision. This two of wands. I got to make the decision to move forward and let this go. And then, boom, there was a tower moment. But you know what? Right after this, you're going to get your two of cups. An equal give and take relationship that we have here. This is very beautiful energy. So you guys are getting over um, a breakup. You guys are getting over this third party situation. Spirit is saying some, for some of you guys, you didn't know that this was a third party while you were in it. Um, this is your confirmation. Also, some of you guys had hunches. You guys thought you guys knew you guys could have been kind of asking God for a sign or you guys could have been, um, you know, having just having that feeling of knowing and you guys were like maybe not necessarily researching but you guys are trying to figure it out because the feeling was just so strong but they they were good possibly at what they were at what they were doing they were hiding it i'm hearing it was with a friend it was with the best friend it could have been ooh could have been your best friend or it could have been their best friend okay i'm off I'm also hearing somebody cheated. Okay, so well, mm. I just deliver the messages. Mm. As a reader, sometimes spirit says, have us say things that can be uncomfortable for us. And especially as your gifts begin to continue to open up, it's kind of like, is that what, is that what happened? <laughs> is that what happened? Okay, because spirit be spilling the tea. So. This relationship for some of you guys, of course, this is not for everybody. Okay, so yeah, this is for one person specifically. I'm going to say that. And if it applies to more, then okay. This was a heterosexual relationship, right? But the person who was cheating, they cheated 
on you with this with their same sex okay they're coming out of the closet i'm hearing that i'm hearing that they were with you as a cover up they were with you as a cover up Oof. 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 okay look at this there was multiple people involved again we see this we saw that but you brought peace to it you brought peace to the situation and you cut that out and you're shining now or you're on your way to shining yeah see this has you all confused you're you're all confused like what and let me tell you i started this i want to say around um or i noticed the clock said 8 18 and then i noticed it said 8 28 and now it says 8 38 you guys are in divine order so even if you guys feel confused you guys are in divine order You guys are going to be celebrating soon, but also this is confirming that third party. Look, it was that third party that you just did not know about. Some of the, mm, some of them was having like groupy into in groupy relationships and all. They was just wilding. Somebody was wilding. Page of Swords here. Or excuse me, the Knight of Swords here. Am I reading this right? Yeah, this is the Knight of Swords. My bad. You're going to have a lot of information coming at you. Something about a newspaper article. So I'm not sure if you guys are getting your name in a newspaper article or something for some reason. You guys are being noticed. Yep. For your work. You guys are being noticed for your work. You guys are going to be moving forward with your work. Okay. Let's get this Ten of Swords. Spirit, why is this Ten of Swords here? Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ooh. That's way too many. Ten of Swords. Yeah, I'm hearing Lover Boy. Mm, okay, so they were a Lover Boy. They're a Lover Boy. Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Oh, okay. Look at this. Because you're headed to your soulmate connections. Which is going to be what really makes you happy. I'm hearing dark night of the soul as well. The world is waking up. The world has been going through. So many of you guys are going through your, your soul awakening. We have this ten of swords here. Because you guys are closing out those chapters. And you're coming into connection with your true soulmates here. Which is wish fulfillment. A lot of water energy here. A lot of water energy here. It could have been dealing with a Pisces. Cancer or a Scorpio. Look, you're headed to your, your foundation, to your home, to, to what you really want, to your security. And you have a new love coming in. Best believe that. As I say that, we have we cut the deck to the will of fortune. You have a new love coming in. Keep working, keep grinding, put your head down and work is what I'm hearing. It's time to get to the bag, it's time to get to the money. I'm also hearing don't work so I'm also hearing uh, don't work so much that you don't deal with this pain. Don't allow it's, it. Yes. Get to the bag. Focus on your dreams and your career and your entrepreneurial goals or whatever it is that you're working on. But also heal. Also heal. OK. But that's what you're doing. You're moving forward and you're healing. I'm hearing true north. Follow your true north. You guys are stars. You guys are major stars. You guys are coming out victorious. I know this was very difficult for you guys, but you guys are going to get through this, okay? You guys are focused on your healing at this time. Ooh, okay, this is for the lovers. What did I say? Right now, you're feeling left out. Right now, it's like, dang, why does this, why this happen? Well, you just you now understand why it happened because you weren't supposed to be with those type of people. You don't want sneaky type of people. I'm here to forgive yourself for allowing this behavior. Forgive yourself because you feel like, like dang, like you missed the signs or like you should have been able to see it or you should have known. And Spirit is saying, do not beat yourself up for this. That was who they were. That's who they were. It had nothing to do with you, okay? But look, you see your dreams, you see your goals, and this is you working on it. This is you working on it. And look, 
here it goes that three of cups again and it's confirmed with this lovers this person is also feeling left out as well this person is afraid that you're going to start rumors about them or that you're going to tell everybody their business and it's like well you're not going to do that or spirit is telling you do not do that because that's keeping you in that energy and you don't want to be in that energy i'm hearing gossip there's a lot of gossip already going on y'all i'm really channeling because i ain't nowhere near i'm a virgo and i'm just saying that just because of all i'm surprised at the messages the spirit is given to me it's a blessing not the situation but it's like whoa yeah okay i'm i'm gifted <laughs> i'm continuously coming into my spiritual gifts you know and i'm being very honest with you guys as i go through my journey and so forth and as i read for you guys i'm very very thankful and god continues to bless me and open me up to these situations that are going on and that are happening around the the collective of each sign the collective of the universe for me I'm, I'm chosen to be able to deliver these messages to whoever it is for yeah look this caught you off guard Spirit said you learned how to set your boundaries or you need to learn how to set your boundaries from here on out. Ace of Swords. Spirit, why is this Ace of Swords here? Spirit is telling you to go out and hang out with family and friends. Go out and find things to celebrate. Begin to celebrate yourself. Okay, this Ace of Swords. Look, y'all have, have something better coming in. I'm hearing new and improved. Something that you've been asking for is something you've been waiting for. You have clarity on a new idea, possibly this eight of pentacles or whatever you're working on. But you guys have a new idea on, on uh, some type of project or you're going to be offered some type of project or some type of job. Look at this. You guys are buying cars. I'm hearing Bentley. OK, somebody going to come up with their money, though. But you guys are moving forward with this chariot here. Spirit is telling you to stand in your divine power. You control where this chariot goes. You are in the driver's seat. We always remember that. Again, some of you guys are moving away and leaving the city. Where all of this happened, possibly. You guys are, I'm here in small towns. So this could be a small town. Now look at this. See, told you, Aries is deciding to move forward. It's 844 on the clock. You're moving towards your abundance. You're moving towards your foundation. We saw that four of wands as well. You're moving towards security. Root chakra energy is here. Why is this knight of, uh, this knight of cups here, spirit? Knight of cups. I'm feeling this bottom energy. Because you are the empress. <laughs> because you are the empress. You have this love offer coming in. Some of these people are seeing you. People see, don't don't people see you. I'm hearing very delectable or something like that. You're 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 delectable. I don't know what is that a word? Is that a word? Or yes, y'all know the word I'm trying to say, maybe. <laughs> Kind of like a delicacy is, I guess, what, what, what it is. I guess I'm getting that, you know, but you are the empress. They see you as the end all be all. You control your entire universe. I'm also getting um, energy to check out your your um, get your a birth chart. Also visit the Akashic or Akashic records on your life. Some of you guys need an Akashic reading. Um, also, some of you guys could live by a wheat field or some type of field of corn or something like that. You guys are also mothers and parents. And also, that is why you guys had to, for some of you guys, that's exactly what motivated you guys to get out of this situation. You want better. Heavy, heavy emphasis on chakras. Your chakras are aligned or you need to get them aligned is what I'm hearing. I do. Um, I am a, a Reiki healer. So if you guys are interested in any type of distant Reiki sessions, uh, then I am available for that. You guys can find that information down below in the description box. Some of you guys are also pregnant or you guys will be finding out you guys are pregnant. This child um, that, that, that you guys are pregnant with is um, uh, they're very wise, intellectual. They're sent by they're sent by the universe. They're sent by God. Of course, all babies are, but they're they're very special. They're they're someone that's going to really make an impact on this world. Okay, and you are the divine vessel to bring that child into the universe to birth that that divine energy. Spirit, why do we have this three of swords here? 
Three of Swords, Spirit. Look, we have this. Look, we have this Ten of Swords and this Death. Spirit says you're ending all of this third party, all of this heartache. It's coming to an end. You don't deserve that. Scorpio energy. Again, it's been heavy water energy here. So it could have been dealing with the Scorpio. One more. You guys are balancing things out. Your money, everything is balancing out. This Three of Swords energy. Why is this Three of Swords energy here? Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I really appreciate all the positive vibes. I knew this was going to come out. I felt it. You guys have. So they were keeping secrets again. This was secretive. They were keeping this a secret. That's just confirming that. However, this is also saying you guys have new coming in. As soon as you guys decided to walk away from all the secrecy, from all these lies, from everything that was going on and follow your true north and get to your healing. You guys have this secret. Oh, you guys have a secret admirer. Somebody's going to see you while you're actually out celebrating. Look, you guys have this emperor keeps coming out. I keep coming to this emperor and then I'm going to go ahead and put it down here on top of this because it's next to this empress. They see you very sexy. See, it's like this is you. This is you right here standing in your power. And this is you out celebrating with your with your friends. And this emperor is going to see you guys while you guys are out. Just you're going to be doing your own thing, hanging with your girls, hanging with your guys. And you guys are going to meet. Can we get advice? What advice do you have for Aries? Advice for Aries? What advice do you have for Aries? It's 8.48. That means this, I need to close this out because it's, it's, it's long then. <laughs> what advice do you have for Aries? I'll be talking about, I'm trying to keep it at 10 minutes and like, oh, okay. Look, you guys have this new offer, a new money offer, a job offer coming through for you guys as well. Look, your advice is to keep it moving. Move forward. Get out of your head. Let go of the thoughts. I know it's difficult, but you guys got to let this go and move forward is your advice. OK, you guys have this new offer coming towards you. Allow things to unfold is what I'm. Ooh, is what I'm hearing spirit say. What you're looking for could be in a book. Maybe you guys are supposed to write a book as well. Spirit, what um, final message do you have for Aries? What final message do you have for Aries? I'm hearing for such a time as this. We And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the mountain. So ship, I'm going to just read the quick version of what this is. Um, but before I do that, again, this is you guys moving forward. This is leadership. This is power. You and your you and your crew. Journey, travel, faith and guidance is what this ship means. After you guys have gotten through these mountains, problems, obstacles, impairment. See, your 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 judgment was impaired. You were you weren't able to see this clearly. But this mountain, this block has been removed. And now you guys can travel again. Heavy travel vibes. You guys can travel and move forward. But you're doing so in faith. OK, I am leaving this read here for you guys, Aries. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in donating to the channel and booking a read or any Reiki services, coaching services or if you guys want to follow me on any social media platforms all of that information is down below in the description box make sure you guys like share and subscribe to the channel and turn that notification bell on so you guys never miss a video until the next one bye